All right, what's up, everyone? So we have a lot of news for Project Slayers. Now, um, I I just want to say before we before before I start yapping and everything, I told you so. I told you Project Slayers is gonna get abandoned. I told you. I knew it. Now a lot of you are gonna be like, oh no, but it's not abandoned. They're making Project Slayers too. That's still abandoned. They technically abandoned the original game and they're working on a sequel. So technically, I was right the whole time. But you know, I guess I was the crazy one. Um, but yeah. So before I talk about my opinions about this whole Project Slayer situation, let's just read what Uap had to say. So he says, "I have been working on two projects. One of which is Project Slayers Two, the sequel to Project Slayers." Um, I know this contradicts my previous statement of not having enough time to work on the game, but I've been working on these on my free time with no pressure. If we find a way, we will transfer some stuff from Project Slayers 1 to Project Slayers 2. This pro this meaning we're probably just going to get all our data wiped. They might they might transfer over some like like the small stuff, like I don't know, maybe our our clan or whatever, but we're probably just getting our data wiped. And honestly, I'm not against that cuz Project Slayers is a really is is really easy. It's really easy to get max and everything. So, starting fresh would be would, would be nice. Um I can't give an estimate um, on the next time you guys will see more Project Slayers 2, but I will show much of, as much of it as I can when the time comes. Now, I'll talk about this in a second. Um, what, that, that, that one sentence, I'll talk about that in a second. Um, as for the other project, it has more progress and much, much more content. And I'm planning on making it public sometime next month. I hope you guys understand that this is the only way I can continue working on Project Slayers. Now, um, let's dissect that last question. He said that he has another project that he's been working on um and he's dropping it sometime next month now knowing up it's probably not dropping next month it's probably jumping the month month after because you know he's probably just going to delay it so i'm expecting this new project which i'll talk about what it is in a second in um probably like may late or april early may maybe who knows maybe um so basically this new project that up has is called dimension x dimension x is one of, one of his new games that he's been working on I have no clue what it could be. Um, if you look at the basically, okay. If you look at the the game, um, it's it's an anime game. I mean, I can see Saitama, I can see Sasuke on the cover and all that. Um, and he did say that it has content. He said um, it has more progression and much more fun content. So there, it could be a it could be an MMORPG. Um, but it could also be a tower defense game because I have heard rumors that um, Uwap is working on a tower defense game. So who knows? I'm not sure. It could be a tower defense game. It could just be um, what you would call it a uh, MMORPG like Project Slayers. But if you look at the description, it says um, you can block at block any time, even once done. But blocking has a two second cooldown. You can also dash out while blocking. So this could also be a battlegrounds game. The way this is described, like the description just has like combat mechanics. Um here it says no perfect block if you block while stunned. So like I don't know. This could be a battlegrounds game, but this could also be an MMORPG, I'm not sure. And if you guys look at the cover image of Dimension X, it's Adventure Time. Um I forgot the name of these two guys, but it, Adventure Time was a cartoon I used to watch when I was younger. And these two people are not anime characters. These are these are like Cartoon Network, like Nickelodeon. They're not Nickelodeon, but like that type of stuff. Like they're like cartoon characters. That's 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 from Adventure Time. I don't know what that's doing here. So that also leads me to believe that it could be a tower defense game again. Because if you guys don't know, there's this tower defense game called Champions Tower Defense, where they mixed in anime characters and the marvel cinematic universe like the marvel dc justice league all that avengers like that that those type of characters they mix that with anime characters and put them all in one tower defense game could wap be thinking about making a game with cartoon characters and anime characters we could see spongebob playing with saitama we could see patrick with ichigo who knows um I don't know. I'm kind of confused on what this game could be, but apparently it's dropping next month. Now, the next thing I wanted to talk about is where he said, um, uh, I can't give an estimate on the next time you guys will see more of Project Slayers 2, but I will show as much of it as I can when the time comes. See how he's using this vague language? Like, I can't give an estimate on the next time you guys will see it. Um, 
uh, I'll show you guys it when the time comes. This vague language, this is kind of reminiscent of the same vague language that he was using in his other announcement where he was saying the game wasn't abandoned. He said, the game is not being abandoned, an update will come if need be. An update will come if need be. That's kind of vague language, it's pretty vague language. And you want to know what happened? An update never came. They they did technically abandon it. They they never updated it. Um, so yeah, I mean, technically the update never came. So technically, I was right that the game was abandoned. But this also means that if he's using the same vague language, because you know, knowing Ua, when he uses this type of vague language, it's probably just not true. So I don't think we're going to be seeing much of much Project Slayer's two sneaks for a while until you know after Dimension X releases and stuff. Um, but yeah. Now, on to my thoughts. Um, honestly, I feel like... I don't know, bro. I mean, this is definitely the smartest play he could have made. I mean, Uop is smart. He knows that he should stay in his lane. You know, he knows that he's never going to make a game as popular as Project Slayers. But he's also a dev developer at the same time. And he doesn't just want to stick to one project forever. So he knows that he, he, wants, he wants to make a new game. How else is he going to make a new game and stay in his lane at the same time? Just make a sequel. Make a sequel to his game. And honestly, I don't I don't blame him for that. I mean, it's probably the smart it's probably the smartest play you could have done. Um, so honestly, yeah, props to Uop for being smart enough to think of making a sequel. Now, game sequels usually tend to either be one of two things. They either tend to be way, 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 way more popular than the original game, kind of like Swordburst 2, or completely flop. I can't really think of an example of game sequel that flopped, but I know that there have been games that flopped. I just can't think of them off the top of my head. But ga there have been game sequels that have flopped. Um, and it's never in between. It's, e it's either one of the two. Now, I'm kind of hoping that it's Pro Project Slayers is going to is gonna do way, way better. Project Slayers 2 is going to do way, way better than Project Slayers 1. But, you know, we can only just hope. Um, you know, if Project Slayers 2 does flop, you know, Uop is the type of guy to just give up on it. I wouldn't blame him if he did. I'd probably do the same. I'd probably give up on it too if it flopped. But, um, yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm kind of excited for Project Slayers 2, and I'm also excited for Dimension X. I mean, any of my idea, if it were any of my ideas, I, I'd still be excited for it, except for Battleground, Battleground game. I don't think it'll be a Battlegrounds game, because um, he did say that there's progression and content, so I'm, like, 99% sure it's not, a, it's not a Battlegrounds game. But if it's a tower defense game, you know, as you, if you guys have been, if you guys, you know, are true fans, you guys have been watching my channel outside of Project Slayer's content, you guys will know I've been playing tower defense games. And if it's MMORPG, you know, you guys know MMORPGs are my favorite games. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. I mean, yeah, I mean, Project Slayer's is coming. Project Slayer's 2 is coming. Sequel, I'll definitely be playing it. Um, your data will be wiped, will be getting wiped, and that's for sure. I don't, I don't know why people think that it's not going to get wiped. It's definitely getting wiped. Um, it's a new game. Ex just deal with it. I mean, you're never, you're, you're like, you know, did, did Sword Burst two save the save the progress of Sword Burst one? No. So just deal with it. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I had to say about you know the whole Project Slayer situation and everything. Not really much of a situation. It's actually some of the best news we've actually heard about Project Slayer in a while. But um, yeah. You guys will hearing will be seeing a lot more about of Project Slayers content from me as you know we get more and more sneaks for Project Slayers too. We're probably not gonna get them anytime soon, but you know, I'll, I guess I guess I have to go back to my roots and start making Project Slayers content again. Obviously not Project Slayers one, but I will be making Project a lot of Project Slayers two content. But um, yeah, stay tuned for that in like I don't know twenty twenty eight or something. But um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.